everyone, welcome to another vlog. Another Saturday vlog, actually, um, but a very low-key Saturday. I'm just in like a vlogging kick right now. If you do videos yourself, you know this feeling where you just like, you have ebbs and flows of wanting to create videos or produ produce something. Um, and right now I just have been feeling like vlogging a lot. I don't know. There's something about turning on the camera right now that I like. <laughs> so I'm going with it. Nothing too crazy happening today. We actually had a night out last night. So I've actually, I felt better. <laughs> I wouldn't say I'm hungover, but I feel like I have been drinking last night. I'm craving bad food today. I'm sweating a little more than usual. All I want to eat is pasta, which is like my hangover food. So that's how I know for sure. <laughs> so I think we're gonna have pasta for dinner tonight. So I just have to resist a few more hours. We just kind of did a little mini date night. We walked down to our local pub, had a few Guinness over there, and um, maybe one too many. Um, it was freezing though. Um, I feel like I went to the gym yesterday because I'm a tiny bit sore, which is actually sad, but um, it was so cold on our way there and back. I think with the wind chill, it was like minus 16 or something, which isn't that bad compared to the rest of Canada and the States right now. I think in Toronto it's like minus 36 or something with the wind chill, which is insane. I actually don't even know what that feels like, but last night at minus 16 we had a windstorm coming through, so it was just, you're just being pelted with this frigid, frigid cold air. It was painful, like literally our faces were bright red. I, I thought I was gonna have like a cold rash on my face this morning because my face was just on fire. By the time we got home last night, my ears felt like they were gonna fall off. I know I sound like a wimp, but um, anyways, I feel like I've been at the gym because we actually ended up running there and running back. It was that cold just to keep our body temperatures up and it's, it's uphill. So going there was a good leg workout. I earned my Guinness, but I probably didn't drink enough water because now I'm feeling a little dry and tired today. I thought I would fix my hair up with you and show you what I do when I'm not washing my hair, when it's already curled. It's not exactly typically what I would do on a normal non-hair washing day because we were outside in the freezing cold yesterday and running and everything, so my hair kind of got destroyed. If I'm out in some kind of like moisture, the rain, or in some kind of harsh weather, then obviously my curls don't look so good the next day. Um, normally I can just pull my hair down and brush them out and they're good for a couple days, but uh, because we were out running around in minus 16 last night, they did not survive. At least I don't think they did. I haven't pulled this down yet, but I'm suspecting they're not gonna be in great condition. So I've got my curler and dry shampoo, hairbrush. We're gonna try to fix me up. <laughs> I've got my little helper here with me today. Ooh, I've got you balanced on a bunch of boxes, so. My little helper here. We're actually dog sitting right now because mom's in Cuba. She's in Cuba. So he's all ours right now. I'm the new mama for the week. I actually spent five minutes trying to get him to eat this morning. I don't, I've never met a dog that wouldn't eat. He's doing some sort of his own form of intermittent fasting. Do you need a diet? Are you putting yourself on a diet? Probably could use one. Mom feeds him a lot of treats. Okay, so on with the hair. Let's see what we're working with here. Yeah, I can already tell just by that. Well, maybe, maybe it's better than I thought. Let's see, I've got my mirror set up here so I can try to make myself look presentable. Starting out with a lion's mane. Try to get it to calm down. Hmm, maybe it survived better than I thought. Okay, so I would say this side's actually pretty good. I think I'm gonna leave that side. I might just do a little extra right in this top portion here because I don't like this, what's happening here. I have a, like a slight curl here and then nothing happening here. So first I'm gonna dry shampoo, the original Batiste. That's what I always go back to. Fun little fact about these aerosols is that when you're at the very, very end of them, if you actually turn them upside down and spray upside down, you'll actually get one more go out of it. So even if it sounds totally empty and nothing's coming out, try flipping it upside down and you might get a little extra product out of it. I'm just gonna do this one big chunk here to kind of help it all come together. I leave the tip out a tiny little bit and then I just touch it until I can feel the heat coming through the hair. Let it down, shake out the heat, let it set. 
I'm gonna pull it a little bit because my other curls are on, uh, gosh, probably day three now, I'm guessing. <laughs> um, so that one's gonna be a lot more curly than the rest of it. Oh, yeah, I think I overdid it. Take this under piece as well to kind of make them a little more uniform. I really don't like how this piece is sitting. I think I'm just going to get my hand a tiny bit wet or I just put a little water on my brush and then um, pull it through, try to get it to sit a little bit better just to kind of help it drop a little bit. There we go, so that's a little bit better. It's just a tiny bit wet and then I'm gonna keep it behind my ear so it kind of holds, finds its curl that way and um, that should do the trick. So there we go, that's how I kind of fix up my hair after it's been through um, a windstorm and crazy weather or just hasn't survived the night. It's kind of how I refresh it. I just kind of figure it out, figure out where it needs a little more help and I usually just add a curl or two in and try to make it work. And lots of dry shampoo. <laughs> A casual Saturday outfit. I'm not really leaving the house much today, I don't think. I don't think we're gonna go out tonight. I think we're just gonna stay home and watch a movie. I was considering running over to Walmart though because I watched um, Marnie Goldberg's recent video on Flower Beauty and I know it's sold in Walmart so I might make a quick run over there although it's a Saturday. Don't know if I wanna be in Walmart on a Saturday plus my Walmart is a disaster so I probably won't find anything there anyways but I might so I put real clothes on. <laughs> I'm wearing my favorite high waist skinny jeans. Um, well, they're somewhat straight. Very little distressing, but super high waisted. I think they fit a lot like the Levi's wedgie fit. So I will leave those linked down below if you're interested because these ones are no longer available. They're from ASOS quite a while ago. My INSEAD sweater, it's perfect for weekends, nice and cozy. And then just a black peacoat over top. Very simple. And then I'm just gonna wear some sort of slip on shoe because it's nice out and dry, so I can. <laughs> you ready to go downstairs? Come on, let's go downstairs. <laughs> let's go. I took him for a little walk earlier, but he did a massive walk yesterday. We were out for probably at least an hour chasing the ball and everything, and he kind of bunged up his knee a little bit. I think we're just gonna take it easy with the walks today. Okay, something I've been meaning to do for a little while, it's kind of perfect to do on a Saturday afternoon. My rings, they are filthy. I don't think I've cleaned them since a long time. <laughs> I've definitely cleaned them since London because in London, in a day, they were super, super dingy. The water in Singapore was actually really nice and clean like it is here, so it didn't get quite that bad, but it's pretty horrible right now, especially with all the dry shampoo and stuff that I put in my hair. It gets stuck in the ring and makes it look a lot less shiny than it is. So I'm gonna do a little DIY ring cleaning um, kind of in between when you take it to the jewelers to be professionally cleaned. You can also buy a ring solution off of Amazon, which I've done quite a few times, but I've bought it several times over the last year and it didn't make it through our last move. It was one of the items that we ended up tossing because it just didn't fit anywhere. So I'm gonna do my DIY remedy and I'll show you what I do. You only need a couple things, it's really simple. You just need a little dish. I use a scrub brush, preferably with a little tiny end like this so you can really get in all those little dirty crevices of the ring, a little bit of baking soda, and some laundry detergent. Um, I fill up my dish with hot water, not like boiling hot, but really hot. <laughs> and I don't measure any of it, I just kind of put it all in there until it looks about right. Just a tiny bit of baking soda, a little dash of laundry detergent. I've also used um, dishwashing fluid just in the kitchen as well, so. That worked just as fine. Plop your rings in there. And then you just let it sit in there for 10, 20 minutes. I usually go about 10 minutes. I get a little nervous sleeping my rings on the counter if they're not on my hand. <laughs> and then we'll come back to it. Little side note, I've been watching a lot of live PD. The show is crazy. Like, why are these people running when they've got nothing on them? They have no warrants and then they're racing through traffic trying to go to get away from the cops. So now he's going to jail 
just from running just for running away from the cops like isn't it easier just to pull over and figure out what it is they want oh some of these people very interesting in another life if there wasn't a nurse it might have been fun to be a cop and really crack down on these people <laughs> My snacking is out of control on these like semi hangover days. I just ate like four mandarin oranges, a rice cake, chocolate chips. I want to had a bunch of um, nuts and bolts as well that were made by my mother-in-law. Just inhaled all that in like five seconds. And now I'm already thinking, what am I gonna eat next? While the ring is cooking, I'm gonna show you a few things I purchased the other day. I was at Sephora, which I'm hardly ever at Sephora. Um, I was there for probably an hour and I came away with just a couple of things. I got so overwhelmed in there. Oh my gosh, just too much stuff. <laughs> but I did pick up a few things. So this was the first thing that they recommended to me. I told them I have very sensitive, sensitive skin, dry skin. I need a new under eye cream because the, the one I'm usually using, which is this one by Clarence, is on its last leg, so I was looking for something new. They pointed me in the direction of this brand, Laneige. It's a K-Beauty, Korean beauty product, which I hear a lot of good things about, so I was uh, excited to try this one out, and I really like it. It's not cheap, <laughs> but it feels super luxurious, even the, the jars, solid glass, so I don't want to drop this bad boy, but um, it's a really light consistency. Really, really beautiful. Doesn't have much of a scent, which I really, really like. I hate it when face product has a ton of a scent, ton of scent to it. I just want it to smell like nothing, basically. I just want a nice, non-existent scent. Um, so it's definitely a gel consistency. It's really, really soft, gentle. It has almost like a sticky consistency under the eye until it really melts in, and then you wake up with beautiful under eyes the next day. So I really like that so far. Glad they pointed me in the direction of that. There's a few other products by this line that I'm interested in trying, but um, nothing is for as cheap and I just couldn't pull the trigger on anything else. Um, and then this is the other product I bought. It was in the uh, get you at the last second before you run to the cash register section. Um, this caught my eye. It was $36 for these two little products. I've been wanting to try the Sunday Riley stuff for quite some time. So, and mostly this product, the good jeans, you hear all about this. Bloggers talk about it all the time. Product is supposed to be a miracle worker, but it is incredibly expensive for the full size one. So I was happy when I saw it in this little baby set of it. It is a small bottle. It's like 0.27 ounces, but it'll give me a good try of it and make sure I'm not allergic to it. I don't have any reactions to it. My skin likes it before I go ahead and purchase anything um, a full bottle of it and then it comes with this cleanser as well, which I haven't heard much about But I'm excited to try it and I don't think it's too bad for 36 bucks You get get to try out two of the products before you spend hundreds of dollars on the full thing So that's all I got at Sephora. It took me a really long time <laughs> to come down to these three things Whew, But I did it. I also got a few samples of things because my skin is just so sensitive I was afraid to buy anything full size really um, so I haven't tried any of those out, but might be p picking up a few more things down the road. I'm so depressed. Mom's having fun in Cuba. It's not so bad hanging out with us. We take good care of you. Just sits here on the stairs watching out the window to the front. Waiting for mommy to come home. Our little Franken puppy. <laughs> okay, they've been sitting a little longer than I intended, but they're still here, so it's all good. So to rinse them off, I'd recommend putting them on, stick your rings on your fingers, because now they're all slippery, wet, and easy to drop. And then I just hold them under uh, running water, warm water, and give it a good scrub. Make sure you get underneath the underbelly of the diamond is really what makes it dull looking from the top, so yeah. But you wanna keep them on your finger. You don't wanna hold your rings in your hand over the sink, because before you know it, they'll be down the pipes, or somewhere in a vent on the floor somewhere. So stick them on, another little dip, and get in all those tiny little spots to make her shine again and look brand new. I should have done a good before shot, but definitely way better, way more sparkle. Yeah, diamond looks brand new again. Okay, so I think I'm gonna head out really quickly, leave the dog with Ken. <laughs> and pop over to Walmart and see if I can find any of that flower beauty stuff. I don't have any high hope for it. Every time I've been to the Walmart, the makeup section is just totally 
ripped apart, destroyed. There's nothing there. I'll probably walk away empty handed, but I'm hoping that's not the case. I also might try to pick up another dairy free ice cream. I'm still on the hunt. Um, but our wedding photographer, Christine, who is amazing by the way, if you need a wedding photographer in the Vancouver area, she also travels through all over the world. If you need an amazing photographer, you need to hire this woman. I'll put her details down below. But she messaged me after seeing my Halo Top taste test ice cream video that I should try the So Delicious, what's it called? Make sure I get the name of it right. It was a specific flavor she was telling me about. Yeah, it's a So Delicious Salted, So Delicious Dairy Free Salted Caramel Cluster. So that's what we're on the hunt for. That's the next one to try. <laughs> eyes open he snores oh the guilt of leaving a dog at home it's ridiculous it's definitely still freezing out Ooh. yep Today would have been a good day for socks, Andrea. <laughs> Look how pretty the sky is though. The sun's just starting to set. Could have sworn I've seen it here before. But I thought it was on this corner. It's not there now. Lots of elf stuff though. Look how terrible this Walmart is. There's literally nothing in some of these shelves. It's just like the leftover scraps from years ago. Well, that was a bit of a fail. <laughs> they had zero f flower beauty. The rest of the department over there was a disaster. I didn't find the ice cream, but I did find one by haagen which sounds promising. I've never tried it before, but the So Delicious one is gonna be up next to try. So I'm going with the haagen Coconut Caramel Non-Dairy. We're gonna test that out tonight, see how that is. And I got some chicken to go with our pasta. Try to be somewhat adult and not just have a big bowl of pasta for dinner. Oh, and I got Ken a tiny bag of mini eggs because he loves those things. And I'm gonna be having my ice cream for dessert so he can have a dessert with me. All right, car needs to be turned on. Where are my keys? Keys, okay, let's go home. <laughs> Moment of truth, another dairy-free ice cream to the test. Ken's playing with Chico in the background. Okay. It looks creamy. That's not good. <laughs> no, the texture is good. It's really coconutty though. I have to double check it's non-dairy. Non-dairy. Creamy coconut base with ribbons of caramel. Oh. Hold your horses, I'm not done. It's got good texture. Mm -hmm. I feel like I, I should have gone with one of the other flavors though. Yeah, coconut caramel seems like a strange mix. Yeah. Why did you get coconut caramel? Because I really wanted the caramel. <laughs> mm. You like it? Mm hmm. Mostly for the texture is why I like it though. Let's see what the dairy boy, the dairy eating boy, thinks of it. No? No. That's not ice cream? No, I think it's just because of the coconut. Yeah. So per 125 mils, there's four 15 mils in this whole thing, is 260 calories and 20 grams of sugar. So that's probably why it actually tastes half good. Oh, oh. oh I got you. Chico, <laughs> sit. Sit. Shake a pot. Shake a pot. Oh, it's so cute. <laughs> He's so happy with himself. <laughs> Going all out Italian for dinner tonight. Pizza, pasta, pie, and ice cream, and mini eggs. So we're having a little wine. Pasta's done. Just cutting up the chicken. Mmm. It's all pre-made everything. <laughs> We don't usually eat like this, but we're having a bit of a slow day today. It's 
That's what I call hangover days. I'm gonna serve up and then watch one of our favorite shows to watch together, SNL. Kate McKinnon, she's my favorite, I love her. She can do anything on that show. Oh Lord, look at that huge bowl of pesto, pasta, parmesan, and charred chicken. Oh, this is my dream. This is what I've been waiting all day for.